we are asked to express the angle 84 degrees and 52 minutes only in degrees, and then express the angle in radians, give the exact fraction of pi for radians. When an angle is given in minutes and seconds, we need to recognize that 60 minutes is equal to one degree, and therefore one minute is equal to one sixtieth of a degree. Similarly, 3,600 seconds is equal to one degree, and therefore one second is equal to one 3,600th of a degree. And because we are given the angle 84 degrees and 52 minutes, 52 minutes is equal to 52 sixtieths of a degree, and therefore we can write this as 84 degrees plus 52 sixtieths of a degree. And now let's go ahead and simplify the fraction 52 sixtieths. The greatest common factor between 52 and 60 is four, and therefore to simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by four. 52 divided by four is equal to 13, 60 divided by four is equal to 15, and therefore we can write this as 84 degrees plus 13 fifteenths of a degree, which is equal to 84 and 13 fifteenths degrees. Let's also get our decimal approximation for this. This is going to be approximately 84 point, and now to find the decimal, we divide 13 by 15. 13 divided by 15 is approximately .8667, if we round to four decimal places. So we can also express the angle as approximately 84.8667 degrees. So the mixed number is the exact measure in degrees, and here we have a decimal approximation. And now we're told to express the angle in radians and give the exact fraction of pi for radians. To do this, we'll begin with the angle in degrees expressed as a mixed number shown here. So beginning with 84 and 13 fifteenths degrees, let's write this as an improper fraction where the denominator is going to remain 15 and the numerator is going to be 15 times 84 plus the numerator of 13 and of course the units are still degrees. In the denominator we have 15. In the numerator, 15 times 84 is equal to 1,260, and then we have plus 13, which gives us 1,273. So now we know the angle can also be expressed as 1,273 fifteenths degrees. And now to convert degrees to radians, we multiply by pi over 180 degrees. An easy way to remember that the 180 degrees goes in the denominator is that when we have degrees divided by degrees, the units of degrees simplifies out, and we're left with radians. So multiplying, notice how we have 1,273 pi in the numerator. In the denominator, we have 15 times 180, which is equal to 27,000. And this fraction does not simplify, and therefore this is angle in radians expressed as an exact fraction of pi. We can also express this as 1,273 27 thousandths pi. I hope you found this helpful.